Hello everybody. Today's video, let's call it um, my portfolio strategy. And I kind of think that my strategy is unique and it's certainly not right for everybody, which is one of the main reasons that I say that this is not financial advice. And the main reason it's different, my strategy, is because I'm an old retired person. I turned wrenches for 40 years and I retired in 2024. And this account is for fun and entertainment. I have a financial advisor and I have a 401k and I have an IRA. And, um, you know, so I have a plan. So when I do videos about this E-Trade account, this E-Trade account is for literally fun and entertainment. And I have 22,000 in there now. And, you know, my plan is to, my original plan was to do 25. And if things go well, maybe I will up it to 50. But the main goal of this account, let me go to the estimated income, is to raise enough um, dividends to pay for my Medicare. Yes, Medicare, which to my surprise is like 400, it's going to be 400 bucks or $450 a month, right? So this was an expense that I, I didn't calculate. So um, we can see here that I'm shooting for to cover that expense and that, you know, next month, my income will be $558. Of course, that's estimated, but we'll see how that works out. So let me go back to my portfolio because I just wanted to highlight uh, why it's different. And you can see you can pause the video. You can see all my positions. My most expensive stock is Jeppy at $57 a share. And when you consider that NVIDIA is going for eight or $900 a share and Apple is going for $160 a share, my goal is to spend less per share and get more in dividends. So when I originally started this portfolio, I grabbed some bonds, I got some Jeppy, and I was looking to, you know, to have some stability. But as time went on, I remembered, wait a minute, we're supposed to have fun with this, right? So my idea of fun is getting a big dividend. So I've been trending away for the, from the more stable uh, positions and, you know, get, getting more risky positions. So let me show you my allocation. And I still have 7% of bonds and I'm slowly declining on that position because, you know, I have bonds in, you know, with my, um, my financial advisor and in my IRA. So she has my risk covered. So it's my job to uh, have a little fun with this account. And my risk grade was in the 20s when I started and now now my risk rate is up to 36. So I'm still in the conservative range, but trust me, I'm heading for the more aggressive range. So if you see uh, my positions, I was talking about JEPQ is my, or JEPI was my most expensive position. Um, you can see that it, JEPQ is still 7.2% of my portfolio. And I'm going to show you my recent dividend payments and I'm going to you know, point out why I'm switching to more volatile uh, positions like this APLY, which is aptly, it's a yield max fund. It pays a higher dividend. And uh, before we move from this page, I just want to point out this red dot means that this is my most risky position. And it is in a ETF that is called BITO. So this uh, is a Bitcoin futures ETF, and it also pays a monthly dividend. Now, the only reason I grab this is because, hey, you know, Bitcoin's going crazy and I want to, if it's going to be a roller coaster ride, I want to get a seat on that roller coaster. So we'll ignore this position here for now and we'll talk about the dividends from the other positions. Let me go to, um, hmm, let me go to my transactions. Uh, let me search for. I should have done this before, right? Let me search for dividends and apply that. And let's see here. We have uh, our most recent payment was from the Apple that I was talking about, and it was $27. And 
I have Tesla, which is a disaster. I can't, <laughs> I can't wait to show you the video on that. But it paid um, sixty dollars uh, for a month of dividends, and then the Coney paid sixty-six dollars. So if you compare it to this is um, JetQ paid eleven dollars and forty-one cents. I have as much in Jet. I have more money invested in JetQ than I do in all of the other ones. And it only paid $11.41. So that's boring to me. That's not fun and entertainment. So I'm keeping this position, but additional money will go into these higher yielding dividend stocks. So you can also see here, this is my JEPI position. I have a good amount allocated to that. It only paid $7.22, right? Here's one of those bond funds. It only paid $3.01. Boring. I want more money <laughs> to help cover my, uh, you know, my Medicare payments. So that's why this is, these videos are uh, not financial advice because I'm in a different position. I'm a retired car mechanic. And if you, you know, look at the average age, people live till maybe 75 I only got 15 years left to go, right? And I worked with um, asbestos, you know, with brake pads and clutch discs, and we didn't wear protection. And, you know, I, I'd be lucky to get to the average age. So people who watch this video are probably not in my situation. And this is why it's not financial advice. But I got some videos coming up that I think you'll be interested in. And it'll be a series of videos. Because I'm new at the stock market, I made some pretty good mistakes. So I, my next video coming up is going to be my biggest mistake in the stock market. But I'm also going to talk about some of these yield max funds that have been pretty big mistakes. And if you can see my Tesla position, which is um, tracks the Tesla stock, which is extremely volatile, you can see that this position is down $186 in probably two months. So it's one of my biggest losers. And I want to, you know, I want to um, have everybody likes to watch a car crash or a train crash. So I'm going to make some videos about some of the biggest mistakes I've made as a new guy in the stock market. So be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and thank you for watching today.